Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the Lively Wallpaper app to set light wallpapers on Windows 11. The Lively Wallpaper is an open source application that allows you to set videos, web pages, and GIF images as desktop wallpapers and screensavers. The application offers library with many light wallpapers that you can choose from to set a background, but you can always add custom ones. In addition, the app offers a feature that uses AI to convert static images into dynamic wallpapers, adding some depth effects as you move the mouse around the desktop. Okay, let's dive in into the steps. First, open Start and look for the Microsoft Store. Now let's look for the app, which is called Lively Wallpaper. Select the app and then click the Install button. Once the application installs, go to the Start menu and look for Lightly Wallpaper and open the application. If you don't see them popping up, just make sure it's not open on the system tray. If that's the case, just double click on the icon on the system tray and that will open the app. Now, from the library tab, the only thing that you have to do to apply a live wallpaper is just to select it or you can click the button right here and select the set as wallpaper option and that will apply the wallpaper that you selected and one thing to notice is that as you move the mouse on the desktop you're going to have different effects of the wallpaper depending on the theme also depending on the wallpaper that you're using you can optionally go to the settings and then going to customize you have different settings that you can use to customize that specific theme the Lively app also allows you to create your custom backgrounds. And one way to do that is to go to this plus sign. And in here, you're going to have the interface to create your live wallpapers. One of the options is to choose a video file that you have stored on the computer using this choose a file option. And the only thing you have to do is to select it and the application will do the rest. You can also use web pages or videos that are hosted online, such as on YouTube, and you can set those as your live wallpaper on Windows 11. For example, I'm going to paste a link from one of my videos, and you can use any video. This is just to show you how it works. Once you paste the link, just click this button, and that's it. Now we just need to click the OK button, and that will set the video as the background. Now, if you want to delete the custom wallpaper, you just need to go to the um, context menu and hit the delete option. Another feature that I like about Lively Wallpaper is the ability to convert using AI a static image into a moving image using that effect, which is similar to something that Microsoft is working on for Windows 11, but we don't know when that feature is going to be implemented into the operating system. Now, if you want to convert an aesthetic image into a moving image, just go to the plus button. And in here, we're going to select the advanced option. We're going to select the depth wallpaper option. And then you just need to select the image that you want to use and make sure that it is an image that has elements they're easy to identify so the system can detect each image and create the different effects. In order, now this particular feature requires a package to analyze the actual image and convert it to a moving image. And the only thing you have to do here is just to click the download button and that's only for the first time that you're using this particular feature. Now click the continue button And as you can see, now we have the wallpaper, which is static. But if we move the mouse around, you can see that there's some depth effect going on. I don't know if the video can actually show, but as you can see, the, uh, the image is kind of like moving as you move the mouse. I really like this feature. Now, you can also use the Live Wallpaper app on multiple screens and to do that you need to click this button right here and these are the options you can select to only apply the live wallpaper and the selected screen you can use this option to expand on a specific wallpaper across all the desktops as you can see right here 
or you can duplicate the same wallpaper across the different monitor. If you're using the select the screen only option, it's best to also check this option. So when you select one of the uh, wallpapers, it will give you the option on where you want to set that specific live wallpaper. And as you can see, now we have two live wallpapers on different screens. Finally, you can also use the Lively Wallpaper app as the screensaver for your computer. And to do that, you need to click this button right here. And from here, you just need to go to a screensaver. You will need to click this option and that will open the web browser where you can download the extension that you need to enable the screensaver feature on your computer. And the only thing that you have to do is to download the screensaver file. I'm just going to open it. And here you're going to need to extract the files. Then you want to copy the file. And then you're going to need to go to the C Windows folder and you want to paste the file right here and here just click continue then right click the file and select the install option in here just click the run anyway option and from the screensaver tab make sure to select the lively option and just click applied and then click the ok button the screensaver will activate and it's going to be the same wallpaper that you have in the background, but it will cover the entire screen. And that's it, that's how you set like wallpapers on Windows 11. However, before we finish the video, we're gonna go through some of the settings available with this application. And to do that, just click the settings button. And here you have different tabs. The general tabs allows you to control the behavior of the application during startup, system trade, and you might want to set this option to light so when you're in the library tab, they're not playing and using system resources on the computer. If the video actually has volume, you can control that in here. And right at the bottom, you can see where the wallpapers are actually located on the computer. Now in the performance tab, as the name implies, it allows you to control the different settings to help you optimize the application for performance. For example, the application sets the light wallpapers to pause while an application is in full screen. Now you can also change different settings for your laptop. You can also change the uh, playback for when you're using remote desktop and you can even use rules to optimize the application. For example, you can click the plus button and add an application. And then when you're running that application, the wallpaper will pause in the background. Finally, on the wallpaper tab, you can just choose different settings for the appearance and behavior of the lively wallpaper. For example, you can set a picture of an animated wallpaper as a desktop wallpaper, and you can turn that on right here. You can also choose the fit and also the wallpaper input, you can select the input that you want to use to interact with a specific wallpaper. You can choose a mouse, keyboard, or you can leave that off. And at the bottom of the page, you're going to find the plugins that the application uses to render the live wallpaper on the desktop. And finally, there is the system tab, but there is nothing interesting at this time. And that's it, that's how you installed and use the lively wallpaper now remember that this is a open source and free application so you might encounter some bugs and things not working correctly and if you don't want to use the feature anymore you can just simply close it and uninstall it like any other application and to do that just go to the settings app then go to apps install apps and then just click the uninstall button and remember to go to the windows folder and look for the and look for the lively file and click the delete button and that's only necessary if you enable the screen saver option then you can go back to the personalization section on windows 11 and set your desktop wallpaper remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing